Good evening. Well, hello. Are y'all there? I got some right here. It is good to have you here with us tonight. A uh, couple things I need to cover with you. First off, my name's Joe Carr. I'm the new pastor here. And so some of you have been here before. And if I come up and introduce myself to you, that's because I'm new. I'm still learning names. I'm doing good to remember the names of ones who are, are here most of the time, but uh, we're glad that you're here tonight and have the Sand Hill Bluegrass Band. Did I say it right? They're going to be here. Let me just tell you, give you, uh, say this. They're here tonight, and we're going to do a love offering for them at the end of the service. Okay? You can always put in green. But if you write a check, I'm going to ask you to make the check out to the church so that we, we will then take the love offering and everything we get in the love offering, we will make one check out to them. It makes it simpler for the accounting, you know, for them, for us. So if you're making a check out for the love offering, just make it out to Pleasant Hill Baptist and down the memo line, just write bluegrass. You don't have to remember Sand Hill. We'll know who it's for. There's only one bluegrass band here tonight. And so we'll get it covered. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you to do this. You're here to, to, to hear good music, to be blessed, to be inspired, to be encouraged. Uh, I'm going to ask you to do the same for them. Be generous uh, when you give. It's called a love offering. If you can't give, that's okay. The Lord knows. If you're able to give, fine. If you're not, don't sweat it. Don't you worry about it a bit, okay? Because these guys will be happy, I hope, with what we, <laughs> what we give them. Then we're going to feed y'all afterwards. After the service night, every one of you, look to your left, look to your right. Every one of you are invited to stay. Come over to the fellowship hall. We've got, Miss Linda Ann, did you do potato soup? We got potato soup. We got vegetable soup. We got chili. We got sandwiches. We got sausage balls. More Keith Browns over there salivating already. <laughs> we got sweets. If, if Pleasant Hill can do anything well, I'm telling you, eating is one of them. Uh, and so we're looking forward to a good time of fellowship tonight. Uh, leading us off tonight, uh, Noah, is going, Noah Clark is going to sing. He's going to come and sing a song. Is that correct, Jeremy? Noah's still planning to sing. And then following Noah, there you are. I lost you. Adelie's going to come, and she's going to sing. Adelie Hill. And then we'll have the Sand Hill Bluegrass Boys going to come. And at the end, we will have an invitation hymn. And... Uh, and then after that is when we receive the love offering. The way we'll do the love offering is you won't be able to get out without going past the guy with a plate. We got the doors covered. But if, if you can't give, don't you duck your head and you go by. You just go on out and make your way over to the fellowship hall and enjoy the food because that's our treat to you. And we're glad that you're here tonight, okay? Let me open this up with a word of prayer and then uh, we will get started. Father, thank you again for your blessings upon us. Lord, we have so much to be thankful for. And Lord, there are days that I know that we have that just feel like, Lord, we've never experienced a day like that before. But Lord, when we just pause and we begin to think and begin to reflect on all that you have done for us, Lord, we are so blessed that, Lord, uh, not only have you provided atonement for our sins through the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, you give us grace for each and every day, grace that is more than sufficient. And Lord, we thank you for that. I pray that Jesus would be magnified in this place tonight through the singing of uh, Noah and Ida Lee and the Sand Hill Bluegrass Band. Lord, I pray that your, your name would be exalted, and that you would be praised and worshiped. Father, we thank you and we love you. And we ask your blessings upon this time this evening. And I ask this all in Jesus' name, amen. All right, Noah, are you ready? I'm singing songs about the Lord. It's a reason of spending time and not afford. These simple moments change the world. It's a pastor at a tiny little church. Forty years of loving on the hook. These simple moments change the world. Dream small. Don't bother, I ain't got to do it. 
nice to see all y'all beautiful people out there. <laughs> it's a privilege to be here tonight to play some bluegrass for y'all, some bluegrass gospel. Gospel. <laughs> I'd like to introduce the band to y'all a little bit right here. We're Sand Hill Bluegrass Band, located in Camden County, Georgia. All the members are scattered everywhere here in Georgia <laughs> and Florida. Florida. Over here. <laughs> On stand-up bass, we have Miss Stevette Rayburn. Hi. She is she's located in Jacksonville, Florida. It's lovely to have her in our band. She makes sure all of our timing is up to date. And she's a disciplinarian. <laughs> she tries to keep all of us straight. Yeah. Over here on the five-string banjo, we have Joseph Inman. <laughs> He's a local. And then over here on the mandolin, we have Caroline Spivey. She's actually the furthest one from us. She's located in Millen, correct? Yeah. Millen, Georgia. And um, it's a delight to have her too. Over, <laughs> over here on lead guitar, we have Rance Music. And we'll skip him and go to the, the best music we have is George Music, his father. <laughs> No. Oh, no, you ain't wrong. He's better than me. <laughs> no, they're both great to have. But um, we're going to do some bluegrass fiddle tunes for y'all tonight. And, and also to some gospel. Himself. He forgot to introduce himself. You're Mr. Miller. <laughs> Only guitar and lead vocalist. Hey, if you notice, Rant's got a little shiner there. I started to ask him about it the other day. He said, Daddy, don't worry about it. It's my girlfriend and my firewood. <laughs> <laughs> well, enough talking. I think we'll try to sing one for y'all. <laughs> I heard a sweet voice so tenderly calling. Be the 
This next tune we're going to do for y'all is an old-timey fiddle tune. We're going to let our mandolin player kick this one off. It's titled Daybreaking Dixie.
we lost this mic. <laughs> That was truly improvising. <laughs> well, I'm just glad y'all didn't hear me mess up. While we're changing out the batteries in that mic, Mr. George, yes, sir. have you t heard about the three boys who went for a job interview? No, I reckon I have. Well, you got time for me to tell you? Yes, sir. I got so, more time than I do money. Yeah. So there was these three young men that went in for a job interview. They went to the same place, and the boss man said, well, I only have a position for one of you, one of y'all, so I'm going to ask y'all a question. So he asked that first boy, he said, in your opinion, what is the fastest thing on earth? And that first boy said, well, in my opinion, I would say a lot. And the boss man said, well, that's a good answer. Why would you say that? And he said, well, all of a sudden it's not there. You flip a switch and it's there. He said, that's a good answer. So he looked at the second boy and he said, I'm going to ask you the same thing. In your opinion, what is the fastest thing on earth? And the second boy said, well, in my opinion, I would say a thought. And the boss man said, well, why would you say that? He said, because all of a sudden it's not there. You think of it and it's there. So... What do you think the third boy said there, Mr. George? Boy, well, ain't no telling where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> so he asked the third boy, he said, in your opinion, what is the fastest thing on earth? And the third boy said, well, in my opinion, I'd say diarrhea. Wow. And the boss said, are you, are you serious? These other two guys, they had good answers, and you're going to say diarrhea. Can you explain yourself? And the third boy said, well, before you can even think of turning on the light, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to let our bass players sing y'all a song. I hope y'all enjoy it. I hope everybody knows this song, Everybody too. can sing along. Yeah.
everybody's enjoying themselves tonight. Uh, as I said, this is Sand Hill Bluegrass. Um, Richard kind of heads it up here. He's from over near White Oak. White Oak. White Oak, yeah. Are you White Oak too? Huh? Nahana. Nahana, that's right. You're Nahana. Uh, George and Rance are from Waresboro. Waresboro. <laughs> you say it the way I say it, mine. <laughs> And Caroline here is from Millen, which is up near Statesboro. It's just north of Statesboro. So she's got a pretty good drive to come down. Ooh. I'm from Jacksonville. I live on the north side of Jacksonville. We put this little group together, and we hope we do something you like. Uh, we do bluegrass and gospel. So uh, we, we really enjoy ourselves. We, if nobody else has any fun, we have fun. So just have fun with us. So, all right, we're going to let... Uh, Joseph's going to kick this off, and we have a narrative. George is going to do a narrative on this one here while we play. So. <laughs> and the moral of this story is keep your eyes on Jesus. That's right. You won't go wrong. Tried and tempted every day Knowing not the secrets of tomorrow We find rescue when we watch and pray Keep your eyes on Jesus When the tidal waves of trouble In Matthew chapter 14, when the disciples were in the ship in the midst of the sea, being tossed with waves for the wind was contrary, in the fourth watch at night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for help. But straightway Jesus spoke unto them, saying, be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, let me come unto thee upon the water. He said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water. And Jesus, to Jesus, but when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. Peter was doing all right while he kept his eyes on Jesus. But when he looked away at the rolling waves about him, he began to sink. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and called him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, where didst thou doubt? Being tossed in this life, being by disappointments and temptations, we are very much the same as the disciples. If we want to live for Jesus, we must keep our eyes on Him and not what pleasures of this world. Keep your eyes on Jesus when the tidal waves of trouble around you roll. Keep your eyes on Jesus. He will calm the storms of life that cause your soul. He will calm the 
storms of life that toss your soul. We're going to do another fiddle tune for y'all. We're going to let the banjo player kick this one off. It's entitled Cherokee Shuffle. Mr. George, you feel like singing one? Yes, sir. We're going to let Mr. George sing y'all one. This Hopefully is a pretty, pretty song. George does a great job on this. Called Too Many Trials. I'll tell you what, in the last three years, I've had several trials. Mm -hmm. And the words of this song keeps coming back to me. Every time I think about it, 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 it and it's helped me through a lot of times just to think about what these words really mean. Uh, I tell you, when you're faced with, when the doctor tells you you got cancer, and you 
don't know which way you're going, then uh, only thing you can do is turn it over to God. Let Him handle it. He, he, he'll come through every time when everybody else might fail. But if you keep Him on your side and, and, and pray seriously and turn everything over to Him, turn it all over to Him, not just part of it, all of it, He will take care of you. Uh, I've seen that many miracles happen in my life in the last three years that I wouldn't have never thought would happen. But they did. And this this song will tell you that too. So here we go.
job, dude. Thank you. This is another good one called Help is on the Way. Oh 
two more for you here. Two more. Oh, pick it up a little bit here. This next song we're going to do is Prayer Bells in Heaven. Good. If there's anybody that wants to sing it with us in the audience. <laughs> How many diehard bluegrassers we got in here? Bluegrass gospel. Oh, yeah, we got a few of them in here. Now y'all got to come and find out what it's all about. Then you ready to kick it off? fiddle tune entitled Bluegrass Breakdown. We're going to let Joseph break down it and um, oh, hope y'all enjoy. Break it down. It's a fiddle tune, but we're going to let the banjo it start it. <laughs> All right, Joseph. Everybody gets to play on this one. Yep, yep. Just had that this All right, y'all hang on. 
Steve Ant Rayburg on bass. Have a good night. Good night, everybody. George, me and you go back a long time, don't we, son? We played music in the 80s, didn't we? 
Now these old songs you sang up every night I remember. Yeah. It's good to have y'all. I'm glad y'all come and to be with us. That's right. And well, that's good. Me and George used to play together back in the '80s. We called ourselves the Tittle River Boys. I don't know if everybody has ever heard or not. Do you? Okay. Well, it's good to have y'all, George. Hi, if you would, we're going to stand. We're going to have a uh, hymn of invitation. Uh, if you've heard the gospel in song tonight. You've heard the Old Testament. You've heard the New Testament. If the Lord's maybe spoke to you, we're going to sing one verse here, give you an opportunity to respond, and then I'll speak to you after that, okay? Thank you. Be seated for just a moment. Suzanne, uh, Richard is right there behind you. That's who you'll get the check to, I believe, uh, when we get through. We're going to receive a love offering as you go out. Uh, so, Jim, Steve, if y'all to make your way, Ray, uh, we got a couple of plates. There's one back there at the door. Uh, so I guess you go, you go to the front up there. Uh, and uh, if you're making a check out, just make it out to Pleasant Hill Baptist Church. We'll make one check out to them uh, because don't make it out to the Sand Hill Blue Ridge. Just make it out to the church and we'll make one check out to them. Everything we get will go to them. We're not keeping anything. If you can't give, don't feel bad, okay? Uh, you, can, you, know, you can still stay and eat, all right? You don't have to participate in the love offering to stay and eat, all right? Uh, but if you can give a little, that's between you and the Lord. Uh, if you look up here, six people from Jacksonville to Millen to get together cost a little bit of time, a little bit of money. For them to be here with us tonight cost them a little bit. So just I would ask that you be generous in that. Some of our ladies already made their way over to the fellowship hall. Uh, so after uh, I finish here, which is in just about a minute, I'm going to ask Keith Brown. This morning we had Wesley. Brother Keith, come on up here. I'm going to ask you to dismiss us with prayer. Don't sit there like Miss Lucille gave him a nudge there. I'm asking him to close us out with a word of prayer and uh, to ask a blessing upon the food so that when the ladies have it ready, you can dig in. You don't have to wait on somebody to get there to eat. Um, again, it's good to have Miss Lucille with us tonight. If, many, if you weren't aware, Mr. Jimmy passed away last week, and we had his service here on Thursday. Wesley thanked uh, the church this morning. I'm sure Brother Keith may have a word or two. Nope. You're going to say, I can't believe it. <laughs> this is my brother. I love him. Uh, some say brother from another mother, but anyways. He's also been my pastor for the past year and a half, and so I'm glad to have them here tonight. Brother, would you close us out with prayer? Would you stand and then uh, ask a blessing upon it as well? Let us go to God in prayer. O Heavenly Father God, in the blessed and holy name of Jesus Christ, Father, that name that is above all names, to where every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess one day. And Father, I hope that every heart and every life God has prepared for that special day that you call us home. And Father, we thank you, God, for this day. We thank you, God, for the breath of life, and we thank you, God, for our family and our friends, the church, Father. I thank you, God, for Brother Joe and Miss Jan. I pray, God, that you will bless this church as well as Brother Joe and Miss Jan and their ministry here. Father, that you would, Father, that you would embrace this body of believers, Father, and continue to do only what you can do. 
in their hearts and in their midst, Father. And Father, I thank you, God, for allowing us to be here tonight in your holy presence. And Father, just Father, we just pray that you'll be with this group, God, as they go home, just to keep them safe in their traveling, Father. Take care of them, God, and help them as they continue to glorify you and to praise your name through song. Father, we ask also for you to bless this food that you have allowed us to have tonight. Father, that you would use that food to nourish our bodies and let our bodies be used to glorify and honor you in everything and all things. Father, we love you, and we thank you so much, and we give you praise. In the name of Jesus, amen.